Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Enomodi. So in today's video, I want to discuss about interrocking bricks versus building in stones. So which is better? I will be looking into factors such as time, cost, quality, and the longevity to determine which of the two options is best fit for your building project. So tune in for more information. <music> save time with interrocking bricks first thing is yes uh, you will save time with, with the installation process now the problem i have with interrocking bricks eh? i had this project here yeah, a wall that i was building back in 2019 i had to mold my bricks and it took me over 40 days just building those bricks for that wall the installation process is quick because it took me only two days to install sasa uke opt kurunua when you go to the root of buying you save time but if you decide to make on your own remember these uh, these angles was a con the concrete so you have to cure this concrete for 21 days in water so you need process battery and time and time consuming now pia kuna errors eh? in the first five to ten days to report on the brick zina zina vunjika which may be it's concrete we buy so many there was a running cover for next is cost eh? is it cheaper with my own experience and a friend of mine's experience costs is relatively the same. Mine I use con uh, concrete bricks. Eh? Cost it kwanga ina kama almost 50 shillings a stone. But sasa ukijenga yes una buy na 50 but out to me sand na cement mob ni to me only two cements the whole project. But now if ninge jenga na darugo ninge to me more cement but cost ya mawe inge kwa 25 shillings. Compare na ile ni 50 shillings. Is this a sand kubayo unaweza pata na 15 shillings to 35 shillings. So is it nazo unaweza save do up but remember Remember this, artisans who are interrupting bricks are more expensive than stone masons. So, it can cost kufanya sabu zetu zote. Iko to relatively the same. Eh? Costs haina ini ni 5% difference, plus or minus. Neza angu kia hili side. So, cost is relatively the same on according to my experience and my friend's experience. The next one is quality. Darugo is tried and tested. Now you have to what you get outright quality is more compromised with the rocking bricks is number one artisans we don't have many good artisans Since i bought my molds uyo mjama alikuwa mezenga kija yake na easy into rocking bricks na nyumba yake ilikuwa supo because ye alikuwa me take time me visha your job and then molds these old bricks zaki alikuwa meunda high quality bricks so he he had a well finished house na mimi ni kijenga tulijenga kienyeji na fundiwa kawaida so the running curve was huge Bahati ni niye bado alikuwa na ziunda so somehow alikuwa meza to experiment eh? those 40 days za kuunda tulikuwa tunaji come up with ways za venye tutaijenga that way we were able to go with two days and if you can see this all bado iko na weak points eh? atu kuweza kutuwa the best quality compared na ire nyumba because of lack of but well trained artisans eh? and then if you go for those artisans they are very expensive easy nini as ye kangu concrete katikati easy na kama sasa hizo zetu zikuwa sisi tu vinaguzisha ka concrete kadogo unaikilea easy walls eh kama hii yangu unaona hapa it's already weak go to these other walls unapata zingine zinesha abo moka easy interrocking blocks eh zinashindo kushikilia plaster i don't know why i have no scientific reason misi missionary but in realize each and every project kwa weaker na zishiki plaster pia rack of artisan you really find good quality let's go now to longevity. Interrocking bricks zenye zimejengo poa. Especially the concrete, they cannot trust the rugo stones. That's a fact. Zina is out. Kwanza zenye zimejengo fit, they cannot out trust the rugo stones. Now the problem is, you really find well built interrocking bricks. If you go the route here, sand interrocking bricks, they are suspect damage due to harsh weather. Zina zenye shewa zienze kuyayuka and also to pests such as stomach. So, longevity Activity yake iko, iko chini compared na, na stones. Taking all factors into account, what I can conclude is at the moment, interrocking bricks is not the best option for building in Kenya. Especially if you're in Nairobi or 
or Central Kenya, Naivasha, Nakuru, somewhere where you can easily get materials. I don't know of other parts of Kenya, Kama Mombasa, Kama Neza, Patataruru, Ama, good stones. But within Central Kenya, Mount Kenya region, na Nairobi, na other parts, Zanyeziko Karibu, Nadhika, where you can easily assess these stones. Kama hapa Sagana, Moranga, Kukona, Darugo stones in Metokea. Zina Chapa Yadhika, Unapata Yadhika, Inafika na 40 shillings, Ya Uku, Inafika na 25 shillings. So, atakama quality kwa tofauti kidogo, unaweza pata cheaper stones. So, mahi imekuwa cheap. So, for me, I would not advise anyone currently to go that route. The only advantage ni yona ni, uzuro interrocking progs, ukifanya quotation ya hard stones, trust you me, utatumia 100 ama 102. Na hili yo 102 ni zira za breakages. That was a good advantage, because to remold one, only 5 extra stones, na ziri baki mbili. <laughs> so, it was good to experiment to that that's all for today's video let me know in your comments which option you prefer and why and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more information like share and also hit the bell icon to be notified each and every time our video is released thanks see you next time